Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're gonna see uh, the water flow in a potato field. But before I start, if you're into engineering and learning, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be a great help. So today's tutorial is not exactly about engineering, but it's about how you can use Plexus, especially in agriculture. So uh, it's a good uh, opportunity to see that engineering is not only uh, in buildings and structure. You can also do other type of calculation. So let's start. There will be two ditches here, and this is the field. And there will also be water precipitation on the field. So as usual, this tutorial is not for beginners. If you're a beginner, you should watch the rest of my tutorials and then uh, do this one. So I'm gonna see the input. The figure is already drawn here. This is the input. There's two boreholes. We define two boreholes here. Then we define the soil. There's loam and sand. This is the borehole here. We generated the mesh and then we come to calculation. So this is the calculation. We're gonna do the initial phase and the second one. So in this calculation, we'll do a flow only calculation. What does it mean? Does it mean that there will be no stresses calculated in the soil? Only the water flow will be calculated. There will be no stress and no displacement also. So in the phase one, we choose the water here to head, water level, and then we're gonna put the precipitation here. So we put it in time dependent, and then we assign the, dis uh, the charge this function to charge one. So this is here, this is charge one. It's given also in the table. I'll be leaving this data and this PDF in the description box, a link to it. So this is the precipitation on 15, uh, on 15 days. You can see it here. So after we've launched the calculation, we've obtained this, but how did we obtain it? So we went to stress, groundwater, okay, I'll change it. Let's see stress, uh, pore pressure, groundwater flow, saturation. You can see the saturation. Double click on this one, choose it manual. The minimum value will not be zero here. It will be 80 in order for us to see the, uh, the field here. So we can see the saturation of the of the water in the field on uh, each and every uh, meter. So this is five meter, as this is four point five. We can see that here there is an eighty eight percent of saturation in the water, uh, in the field. So this is it for this tutorial. See you in the next one.